Hello friends and welcome to another 3ABN Today cooking program. My name is Jill Morricone and as you know it's Wednesday and Wednesday we get to I get to sample and you guys get to watch and get to learn how to make all these different recipes. And today we're going to learn some special recipes from an authentic Indian cook. Her name is, now I practiced this before the program, I'm hoping I get this right, Padmaja Medidi. Beautiful, you did a great job. Praise the Lord. <laughs> We got that. Yeah. But I told her I would call her by her nickname, which is much easier, Padma. Padma. So if you hear me call her that during the program, that's what we're going to call her. No. But why don't you tell us, you were here once before, I know, um, and did a cooking program with the Mitchiff sisters, and then we asked you to come back. And mm -hmm. I've, the first time I met Padma was in General Conference 2010, this past summer, yeah. um, there in Atlanta. She came by the 3BM booth and we got to meet there. But why don't you tell us a little bit about your background and your family? Yes, um, my husband is a physician. He's a family practitioner. Yes. He's a medical director for Southern Coast Community Health Centers. He's working there and we have two lovely children God Aww. blessed us with. My daughter is a resident physician. She's doing her first year resident at uh, University of Tennessee in and, Memphis. And what does she want to go into? Family practice. Just yes, like your she's, husband then? Yeah, she's already in family okay. practice. That's the first okay. year residency that she's doing. Okay. And my son is in third year of medical school at University of South Florida. Oh, yes. and does he know what he wants to go into yet? Uh, yes, third, internal yeah. medicine. Internal medicine. Yes. Okay. He already knows what he's going to, but God's been wonderful. He just blessed us, and I just want to share my talents of cooking. Amen. I did some cooking classes at church. I go to Tampa first. In and Florida, you're in from Florida. Florida. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I was there teaching them how to make Indian dishes, so everybody loved it, and they, oh, yeah. they always wanted to experiment and you know just try yeah. a different country yeah. cooking. So it's, oh, yeah. I just love to share, and here I am. I'm just delighted to be here. Well, we're delighted to have you here at 3BN, and I understand that when Padma makes dishes for her church there, now she wouldn't tell you this, but when she makes dishes for her church there at the Tampa First Church in Florida, that all the food is gone and it's the first to go there at Potluck because the food's so delicious and yummy. And today we get to learn how to make that Indian cuisine. Yes. I'm excited about it. Yes, I'm really, I, I just want to share all these recipes. I made them, I just simplified them so it's very easy to prepare. They're not very complicated. That's very what I simple. Need. <laughs> simple, that's what very I Very simple, so you'll be able to easily follow and do all this. Yes, praise the Lord. Let's look first, before we make our first recipe, let's look at the, the food that we're making. What's the first recipe we're making? Chana? Chana, which is uh, it's a sauteed chickpeas. Mm -hmm. In Indian, we call it chana, but uh, in the American stores, you can get the chickpeas. Chickpeas? Yes, chickpeas. Um, it looks good. I can't wait to try it. And I cannot pronounce what's the next one called. Next one is kichdi. Kichdi. Kichdi is just rice and lentils. Ooh. It's just yummy. rice and lentils, but we in Indian we call it kichdi. So I just put the name of it there. Very nice. And then we're making curry. Eggplant yes, next plan is lime. eggplant and lima bean curry that just goes with the rice so well. Yes. So. Oh, you, when I think of Indian food, I think of rice and curry, so this is good. Uh, yes. Yes. And then we're having some vegetables, a spinach saute. Yes, spinach saute. It's just very simple, but just adding a little Indian spices just enhances the taste. Yes, absolutely. And sauteed, sauteed spicy. spicy asparagus. <laughs> I mean, I made it, it, I didn't want it to be very spicy, but I know you just boil and eat, so what I just wanted to add a little bit of spice. Nice. Nice. And then we have to end with dessert, and this is a special yes. Indian dessert. Yes, it's called Ravva Kesari. It's traditional Indian uh, dessert, but I'm going to make that with cream fruit and show you a very easy way to. So do normally that. it would be made with the heavy creams and stuff. No, normally it would be made with suji. Suji is found in the Indian store only, and I wanted to find something that'll be available in the just regular supermarket. Right. So it cream of wheat. I tried it with taste one. Cream of wheat, interesting. I never, th you know, you think cream of wheat is traditional American, but here we can adapt yes. it for the Indian cuisine. Yes. Very nice. Well, let's read the first recipe for the chana. For that, we need two cans of chickpeas, one to two red chilies, one teaspoon urad dal, is that correct? Urad dal. Okay, thank you. <laughs> one <laughs> half teaspoon mustard seeds, two to three curry leaves, one tablespoon oil, salt to taste, and these are optional, you can add, one to two tomatoes, chopped, one medium onion, chopped, two to three tablespoons fresh lime juice, and one tablespoon cilantro, which is chopped. 
Okay, first we're going to get our oil on. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Okay. We can turn that on. Yes, sure. Here we go. We'll just put the oil in here. So that's important. <laughs> you want your oil good and hot first. Yes. So we'll just let the oil simmer. And then just let me explain to you a little bit about the chickpeas. We just got the chickpeas from the can. This is just canned. We just rinsed it off because um, I just didn't want anything from the can. Rinse it in the water thoroughly. Just put it in the colander and rinse it. Rinse it and we have it ready here. Two cans of chickpeas. And, and chickpeas are good in certain things, aren't, aren't they good? You were telling me chickpeas yes, are chickpeas good Yes, in... chickpeas are great for vegetarians. Okay. That's an excellent source. Just half a cup of chickpeas will have 17 grams of dietary fiber and about 19 grams of protein in just half a cup. And they say there's really a positive relation between um, chickpeas and weight management because when you oh. eat chickpeas, it just leaves you feeling full. That makes sense. Uh -huh. Yeah, and mm -hmm. just eliminates the sense of hunger. So you don't need to feel like you keep eating. Keep eating. And yeah, you said it was low in calories, correct? Yes, and maybe like a half, uh, not a half a cup, but a cup mm -hmm. of chickpeas is like 250 calories. Wow. Yes. Okay. So it's excellent, you know, not for weight management, and it's a great source of protein and just all these benefits just from chickpeas alone. Wow, and the with, with, these, with these little spices here, it'll just enhance the taste a little. That's right. That's all I'm trying to do <laughs> is just enhance the taste That's a good. little bit here. Now we have the oil. Now is that nice hot, hot enough to put it in? Yes. Okay. Do you want the fire up some more or is that good? We'll just find out right away. Okay. There, it's, it's, we, you can see that simmering. I can. Now, what did we just put in here? This, these are the mustard seeds. Nice. We use whole mustard seeds, and I put, this is the cumin seeds. Oh. And this is the urad dal. Urad this is dal. Urad dal. Those okay. are the peas. And these are the red chilies. Now, I just kept one. Spicy. I just kept one whole. <laughs> see, I just break it into half, and I just put that in there, and we have it ready here. Oh, yes, and okay. I'll keep stirring it. This is a very simple, easy recipe. It's used like a snack. We just snack. You know, it's just not a main course. It's with just a snack. Chana. With the chana. chana. Yeah, snack. snack. And I'll just throw in this. Ooh. <laughs> and I'll just well, turn, turn this down. off. Yeah, turn it off. Okay. Actually, we don't need it because it's almost done. OK. Because it's they'll start okay. popping. That oil is hot. You can yeah. see that. <laughs> and we'll just throw the chana in here. OK. And just a little salt to taste. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells good. I can smell those the you herbs. You, you can, yeah. can you smell the curry leaves? That's oh, the yeah. curry leaves. Okay. Yes. You can eat chana just like this without doing any of it. It's fine. But if you put in all these spices, it just enhances the taste yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And that's what we like to do in India. We just spice everything. <laughs> We just like things a little spicy. I didn't put anything in here spicy except these red chilies. Yes. Do you see that? So I that's see that. that's enough chili, but it's a very mild. Anybody can do it. It just took us a minute. It did. did that you was see that? really fast. Yes, and you have your snack ready. And I'll just show you now. Yes. Now, can I ask you first, can you tell me, these would be our traditional herbs and spices that you would put in for all your Indian dishes? I guess we'll learn Most. as we go along, but yes. okay. So you if it is any of the vegetable, seeds. mustard seed, cumin. Now we use the cumin seeds. And we, yeah, we don't use the powder. At home I use the powder. So yeah. the there are, are certain, cer certain dishes you use powder and certain you use seeds as a whole. Oh. And so most of the vegetable, when you stir fry, we use the seeds. We don't use powder. Okay. So, but, but you know, as you're eating, you can tell that it's just a very nice flavor it has. It would just pop in your mouth, that yeah. I would imagine, the flavor. The then. flavor is just use the seeds. very rich flavor, yeah. really mild. It's not hot. No. Mm -hmm. It's not hot. Mm -hmm. Only the red chilies. And if you prefer not to, <laughs> if you want it more spicier, add a couple of more chilies. And if you want it mild, just put one or just don't put any at all. Mm -hmm. It depends. However you want to, you can prepare this according to your taste. Right. So that's why I left it one chili, two chilies. Or if you don't like it, you don't have to put okay. the chilies at all. Okay. And now this same one, I can show you if we can use the same dish. Yes, here. We'll just put this in here. Okay. And if you want it, I, you can also, I simplified, as I told you, I simplified this recipe. Yes. When this chickpeas cool, mm -hmm. you just let it cool a little bit. Okay. 
and I'll show you. You just add the tomatoes. Ah. Now this is a very, just making it even much more healthier. Yes. <laughs> you know, these are fresh tomatoes. And it gives you color. I love yes. the color of the fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes and we have onions and lime juice mm -hmm. and cilantro. Mm -hmm. And we already put in the, the curry leaves in here. Yeah. I just wanted to show you the curry leaves. This is from my house. I brought this from my home. <laughs> okay. I just took a, a, you know, from there, I just took a little stem off of it. There in and, Florida. Yes, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to show how beautiful, you yes. know, it looks. And if you can just take on and just smell it, just smell it. Yes, it has that a smells very, really, yes, really very good. nice aroma. Oh yeah, and that's what you smelled as soon as you, as soon as I sautéed it. I did. Yeah, you can with the heat hits yes. it. Then it, yeah. That's that's the curry leaves, and we use it in all our dishes. Yes. Yeah, the yes. curry leaves is used in most of the dishes. And I like this Padma because you know sometimes when you're using the fresh herbs, we can say, well, that's expensive. I'm not sure I can afford that. But the perfect thing is you can grow it. Yeah. And if you don't have a big yard, I've seen people grow herbs in their own house. You know, yes. you have your little pots there in a sunny window and you can grow them. And it's inexpensive and yet you have those fresh herbs and it fresh. really helps your, your cooking taste better. Yes, yeah. absolutely. We use yeah. everything fresh. Do you see my tomatoes and onions? And I just wanted to tell you one more thing. Yes. If you want your chickpeas not from the can, you can also use the, the dried chickpeas. Mm -hmm. You just uh, soak them overnight and then you boil them just before you, you prepare this. Make sure they're well cooked. Yes. And you just use it just like this. You just take two cups of it and follow the same recipe. You know, some people don't like to use the canned foods. And right. But this is quickly, if you want to prepare it, you can also use it. If you're use. in a hurry. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, how fast was this? All we did is throw in the spices and just basically shut the fire off. And, I and mean, it was really fast. And just imagine how, many, how, many, how much protein and calories yes. and fiber and everything yes. you're getting from just the That's chickpeas. Good. Now, are we and adding these now or not? Yes. Okay. I just wanted to show you, this is, you could also optional, you can use this, but just the chickpeas alone, you can store it. But if you add all this, you can't store it in the fridge. Just to eat it right away, it's okay. Yes. You know, I would not recommend to store yes. it in the, but you can just put this and just mix this all up, put the onions. Mm -hmm. Give you a nice zip there. Yes, put the cilantro. I love cilantro. Now, was cilantro considered Indian as well? Yeah. Okay. We use it in every dish. I cilantro love cilantro. Is, cilantro is in every dish, and you just take the lime juice, okay. and you just put it around. Nice. And mix it beautifully. Yes. And there you have your dish with nice. the tomatoes, fresh. Oh, yeah. Onions. I have to taste. Lime juice. <laughs> <laughs> I have to see how it tastes. Let me grab some here. Okay. Mm. Can you smell the lime? Mm. Fresh lime. Mm. Mm. That is very, very tasty. Mm. I can taste, especially, I can taste the curry leaves. Yes. Oh, that was good. That tastes really good. The flavor, I can get the lime. And it wasn't spicy. And I thought, maybe because I don't like a whole lot of spice, but it's not spicy to me at all. I really no. toned it down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we have one that's all finished we want to show you. This one you already made and finished. Yes. It looks beautiful. Very nice. And I can see your red chilies on the top. Yeah. Let's go to our next recipe. Mm -hmm. You want to read our next recipe for us? Absolutely. This is called kichdi. Kichdi is nothing but rice with lentils. Two cups of basmati rice, one cup of masoor dal or mung dal, four cups of water, a quarter cup, quarter cup of oil, four cloves, three cardamoms, one cinnamon stick, one medium size onion chopped one to two green chilies chopped, half a teaspoon turmeric, two tablespoons cilantro chopped, salt to taste, three to four curry leaves, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, and optional, uh, you can use one to two cups of mixed vegetables. Okay, so this is a, a staple. You eat a lot of rice in South India, you were telling me? Yes, actually rice and lentils is the staple food in South India. Yes, okay. and and the lentils virtually no fat, mm. but they're very high uh, in protein. Proteins, uh, I think there's 250. 
this is, this is 250 for chickpeas, this is 230 calories for just the lentils, wow. yes. Before, I'm sorry, before you tell me the rest, let's put our oil in and we'll get it warming. First, we'll actually turn this on. Okay. This one is this. And then I do want to hear, I think this one's this one, we'll find out. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. First, we just need to put the oh. lentils. This is called masoor dal. I just wanted to show you this. This is mung dal. Okay. We're not going to use mung dal, either this or that. You can use either mung dal or masoor dal, but today we're going to make it with the masoor dal. Okay. okay. I just wanted to show you that. So now we'll just, we'll just fry this a little bit. Oh, without the oil then? Without the oil. First, this is just, just, just the dal in itself, and we'll just... Okay. Let me see, yeah, that's it's good. It's gone, okay. Yeah, very good. Okay, and I'm sorry, you were telling me about the, the lentils. The, it was low in calories, it was it's high in? Very high in protein, good, very so good source of protein, and it's also an excellent source of B vitamins. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you just need to keep stirring because we don't want this to, <laughs> we don't want this to burn. <laughs> No. And you can see this red, it's red in color. It is. And as it's getting hot, it'll turn yellow. Oh, isn't that neat? Yeah. I did not know that. Okay. You can see that, but we just need to just stir fry it without the oil first. I've never cooked with that, so that type of lentil. Actually, this is available in the natural food store. I saw a lady purchasing this. I didn't know. I thought this was just available in the Indian store. Right. But I saw. You go to the natural food store and you have it there. Wow. Yes. Okay. So for our friends at home, you can always go there and pick it up as well. Yeah. Or an international, like here in Southern Illinois, we have an international market too. You can get that. You can go to any natural food store and this is available and the mung dal too. Good. Yes. All right. See, do you see it um, turning yellow? You can it's see it's just slightly, starting. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. it's just starting to turn yellow. I like that. You just need to fry it. It'll just give a nice taste to it when you just fry it a little bit. Does it make it more nutty or not? Tasting? Tasty, yes. Okay. It does make Very it good. make it make it. Yeah. And I wanted to mention to our friends at home too, if I know some of you call in or you write in or we talk to you and you say, I can't write down those recipes fast enough, I can't get that. But you can always go to our website, www.3abn.org. We have a recipe link. You just click on that and we'll have the recipes up for this program or the other Today programs as well. Or if you don't have access to the internet, give us a call and we're always happy to send them out to you. So we'll do that for you. If we can turn this on, sure. Jill, we'll yeah. just put some oil. Okay. And we'll be ready to start. Is it starting to turn more can yellow? You, can you smell? Oh, yeah. Can you smell that? It smells really good. Yeah. How much oil you want here? Yeah, we'll just put uh, a little more? bit more. Yeah. Because we have rice just a little bit more. There you go. Is that good? Okay. I can really smell it. Yes, mm. we can turn this off. Okay, we're we done with that. Yes, yes. This is this is this the is the one. Yeah. Okay. There you that's go. We can turn this off. We don't want to burn it. <laughs> <laughs> we do not. That's no. right. But you can see some of them turning. I can. Yeah. yeah. So we don't want them to turn that brown. We just want it to just light. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It definitely changed in color. Yeah. It still has a reddish hue, but it's more a red yellow. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. It lightened too, I think. You see the little, yeah, light yellow. Uh-huh, I can see that. Now good. this is ready. We okay. can just put cloves. Yes. I like cloves. Cardamom. Now we're using the whole seeds here. Yes, this is the whole seeds. We're gonna put it in the rice. This is just one cinnamon stick. You can just break it. Okay. We put it. And we'll let that saute. Is that up high enough? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Can you put it a little higher for me? Yeah, we'll see if we can get it higher. That's as high as it goes. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Take, oh, it's just starting. It'll take just yeah. a minute, then it'll start to bubble. And now we're ready, we can put the onions. Okay. So we're not using, this one's a little sweeter then, because we have the cloves and the cinnamon and stuff. We're not using the, the mustard seed and the, the 
other stuff we used in the first recipe. It's not sweeter. It's not sweeter. It's not, okay. It's not sweeter. It's not sweeter. Um, just a different but flavor. Just a different flavor. Okay. And we can put some green chilies. Uh, yeah, remember, we used red chilies in the other recipe. Now we're using green. Yes. Is there a difference in the chilies? And just, just the flavor. So for certain vegetables, we just use red, and for this particular one, we use green. We don't use red chilies. Okay. Okay. Very. Now nice. you try. You, you just let this light brown color. Okay. With the onions, and you just put in some curry leaves. Those were good. I like that. In yeah. the chana, the curry leaves were really Let good. Let me just put a little oil here. We're going to fry the rice in here. Good. And I like to just close it oh. just for like a minute or so, so that the onions will be cooked. Yes. Well, just yes. properly, just for a minute or so, we just close it and let it cook. Okay. It's better with the lid, so it'll cook much better mm -hmm. and faster, mm -hmm. just evenly. You don't use all <laughs> that steam, you know, and it keeps it in there, so yeah. that's good. Yeah. So we'll just let it cook for it, and then next we're going to add ginger and garlic. This is a ginger and garlic paste that I did at home. You just took, yeah. take equal amount of ginger and garlic. You just peel the skin off the okay. garlic, I mean ginger and garlic, mm -hmm. and you equal amount and you just put it in the blender just blend it with some water and there you have the paste. Oh that's all you do equal parts. Yes just equal parts <laughs> and if you don't have ginger it's just not available and you know it takes time to do that but it's all fresh. Yeah. It's all fresh. I don't like oh, to yeah. use uh, you know anything from the store because I like my ingredients fresh. Yes. And, and they taste so much better. Yes, it <laughs> yeah. does. Now, if you prefer oh, yeah. not to use ginger garlic, it's not available, it's okay, you don't have to use it. Okay. It's just that I, I, this recipe just tastes better, and so that's why I just used it. We yes. have this. We'll, I'll put the turmeric. Okay, that gives us a nice yellow color. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Mmm, it smells so good. And a little bit I like ginger that, and I garlic know. paste. Now that'll give it a good kick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and can you smell it? Oh, I can. I wish they invent, you know, smell a vision. Besides seeing it, you could smell it. Oh, it's good. And now I'll just put in the rice mm -hmm. and we'll just stir it. Mm. And keep stirring it for about five minutes. Oh, now it'll good. just mix in with the spices and the oil. Just everything, you just have to keep on stirring it because we want the rice to also fry a little bit just like we did. Yeah. The lentils. Okay. That makes sense. And we're putting in these in raw because we're gonna cook them later. Right now they're just going in yes. you know, raw. Yes. Okay. I'm just I'm just gonna show you how we just yes. put everything. You must stir this at least for five minutes. Just make sure we don't want to burn it. <laughs> But That's right, because we want to eat this later. <laughs> yes, we don't want to. So just make sure, it just depends whatever stove you're using. You can put it on medium yes. heat and mm -hmm. just stir fry it. Mm, and, very nice. And, and the onions just enhances the oh, taste yeah. Oh, yeah. of the rice. We can make it just plain yeah. and simple, but um, this is something that... Mm. Very. Did we add salt? Do we need salt or not? We're good. Yes, we will add salt. But not when now. we put the water. Okay. Well, let's pretend our five minutes is up. I know it's not okay. up, but we'll just and pretend for the sake of time here. Okay. And now, do you have something to hold? Is it hot? Is it hot? Here, I got it. If you can pour it in. Sure. Okay. There you go. Oh. And now we stir everything together. Okay. This is all ready. We have the mixture all ready to go. Okay. Either if you have a pot where you cook rice at home, mm -hmm. you can just pour the water and everything in the pot and then cook it over the pot. But I'm just going to show you a very easy way. If we can turn this off. Yeah. I'll just show you an easy way to just put this in the rice cooker and you don't have to worry about a thing. It'll just cook beautifully. It saves so much time and it's yes. easy. I like the rice cooker. You don't have to pay, worry about it or pay attention to it. Yes. Yeah. So now we can just transfer this and I'll add the water and everything and put it in there. Do we have something? Let me see if we have something because it's kind of hot. Let me look here and see, Padma. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Actually, it's fine. I'll hold this for you and you just put it in there for me. Jeff, this is fine. It is. Are you okay? Yes. Can, okay. You, can you just help me? There we go. 
You'll be able to see in just a second. Okay, there you go. So we, oh, it smells good, Padma. Yeah. Oh. Now you just put the water. Yeah. I have the exact amount of water all measured. I'm just gonna put some salt. Mm -hmm. mm. And let me mix it all up. Good. At this time, if you want to add and make it much more healthier, you can add mixed vegetables. Oh. You can put beans and carrots, whatever. If you have fresh, that's fine. If you have frozen, that's fine. Whatever you want to throw in, you put it in at this time. And just let it cook for about, we can just, be, everything is perfectly all right now. You just turn, turn it on. That's it. That's it. It's so simple. Yes. It, it, you know, just comes out really great in the rice cooker. And if you don't have a rice cooker and you want to just cook it in a pot, mm -hmm. you can also do that. Just add, add the exact amount of water. Perfect. That I have yeah. everything measured. You just put it in there and let it cook. Now, just as it's finishing, you just keep stirring it. Just in the middle one time. You just okay. keep stirring. You would do that with a rice cooker? With the rice cooker, just one time. Maybe one time. after 10 minutes, you just stir it just once. Okay. Make and sure. then it'll be all. Yeah, just make nice. sure all the ingredients are nicely mixed in together. Nice. And you can just throw in some cilantro at that time. Oh, okay. Fresh so cilantro. So you throw it in yeah. partway through the cooking. Yes, cooking. I like that, and I'm going to try this one up here. Please do. You, you will <laughs> love it. It tastes this. wonderful. Mmm. 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 That is exquisite. Just with the lentils and the mm. rice and just the mm. different spices. The Mixed spices is what makes yes, it. Yes, because the onions and the chilies and everything together. Oh, yeah. It's not spicy, but it's delicious. Yes. I can taste the, the, um, I can taste the chilies. It has a nice, just a little bite, but I really like the cinnamon in it. Yes, just, a just good one flavor. little cinnamon and yes. the cloves and the cod. Oh, yeah. But just we just it's put delicious. a small amount, so it just gives a mild taste. Oh, it's it's not very strong, but just a mild. This is for me to eat. No. <laughs> All for we you. We will Joe. share. <laughs> All for you. Let's read our next recipe. For the eggplant and lima bean curry, we need one eggplant that's medium size, two tomatoes chopped, one onion chopped, one to two green chilies chopped, two cloves garlic chopped, three tablespoons oil, three to four curry leaves, one to two teaspoons madras curry powder, is that correct? Yes. Madras, okay. Correct. One half teaspoon turmeric, and one cup or more frozen baby lima beans, and salt to taste. Well, I'm excited, Padma, to learn how to make the curry that goes with the rice. Yes. Can We're going to be doing eggplant curry with e lima beans. And eggplant is so good, and I love lima beans, so this is nice. Yes. Yeah. Eggplant has a very rich and um, distinctive taste to it. It does. And when you mix it with all these spices, it tastes delicious. Oh, so yeah. So I'll show you a wonderful way to prepare. You'll never believe this is eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I already have the oil here. Good. I'm going to put the... Onions in? Yes. That's important. We gotta have our onions. We'll put the onions, green chilies. Mm -hmm. Very nice. This is garlic, okay. chopped. Garlic. So instead of our paste, wasn't it the rice we used the garlic and ginger paste? Yes, we don't want we don't want garlic. You know, we don't want it to be like chopped garlic. You'll taste it in the rice. We don't want pieces there, so you have to. Yes. You know, just make it into soft paste in the rice. Mm -hmm. But in certain dishes, we do use paste. Okay. But this particular vegetable dish, we can use chopped. Yes. Garlic. That's perfectly all right. And we'll put some curry leaves. Our curry leaves again. Yes. Everything. Use them in everything. <laughs> And it has very nice flavor, so actually it's, it tastes very good now. Yes. That's oh, what yeah. I'll use this one to stir it. It's very good. And eggplant is good for you in certain in things, right? You were telling me it's, about that. It's very uh, high vitamins. It has folic acid and potassium in it. And it also helps in lowering cholesterol. This is important yes. to know. Yeah. So the, the very, very, and it tastes very good. But you have to just prepare it in the right way. Right. <laughs> And, and as these, remember when the onions, we just wanted to cook a little bit. So we, if you can just put the, lid on. put the lid on just for a minute or two, it'll just help it to 
cook faster and better. And just talking about the oh the eggplant. Yeah, show us what this, are we doing. This here? is the type of eggplant that I used. There are different types of eggplants, but this is available in the regular supermarket. Yeah. So we can I just cut the stem off mm -hmm. and take the peeler and peel off the skin. Yes. Now I like it peeled. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. If you like with the skin, you can eat eggplant with the skin, it tastes fine. Perfect we have enough. options. We have a, yes. <laughs> it's not required that you peel the eggplant, right. but I just like to peel this particular type of eggplant. There are some smaller types like Italian eggplants and different types of eggplant. You don't have to peel those. It's very difficult to peel each and every eggplant, right. but this is a big one. It's easy to peel. And make sure, as soon as I cut them into like one inch pieces, you put them in salt water. Mm -hmm. Also, it'll oxidize and turn brown. And if you leave them in very long, it'll turn bitter. So that's I, a problem. I don't want bitter curry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you cut these right before you cook. Now we yeah. have. Are we ready? Can I drain the water here? You think we're okay with that, or do we need to do something else before we do the eggplant? No, we can. We can. We can just drain the water. Okay. We can just put it in the colander. I'm gonna go. I got a colander back here. I'll drain it. Yes, that's perfectly all right. Now, I'll just put in some curry powder. And I'm going to put turmeric. Just stir it in. Okay. For one minute, we there have this ready. Beautiful. We don't need that. So this way, it won't turn bitter then, and it won't oxidize. Yes. All right. You can just put in some salt. And I like to put some water. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just that'll help the eggplant cook better. Mm hmm. Very nice. Mm. And we did the eggplant when you soaked it. I don't remember if we talked about this, but that was interesting to me. You did salted water when you soaked it. Yes. From oxidizing. Yes. Okay. If you mentioned that, I missed that. So it was salted water you did. Salt, it in yes, okay. yes. I already put salt in there and make yes. sure that they. And now when we put the eggplants in here, you just need to. Make sure the lid, put the lid on. Okay. So it'll cook evenly. Same thing again, the principle. We keep yes. putting the lid keep, back on. The, is it on high or medium? Or is that Let's as high see. as it goes? Right? I think it's as high as it goes. We'll okay. try. Yep. Okay. okay, that's good enough. Okay. But I just wanted to let you know that with this, let it cook for maybe a few minutes, like two, three minutes. Let, let the Eggplant will get nice and soft, a little bit softer, and then you can add the lima beans. Ah, now, lima great. beans, it just complements a variety of dishes, mm -hmm. and it goes beautifully with eggplants. Yes. I tried it. Everybody loves my eggplant curry. <laughs> Everybody loves eggplant and the lima beans, and yeah. lima beans, virtually no fat, really? and very high in protein. So it's, it's an excellent source of protein. It'll go very well with the eggplant. Yes. I'm going to put the lima beans just after a few minutes and then I'll put in the tomatoes too and let all this cook together. As you can see, they're all fresh. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yes. This way I just got the frozen lima beans yes. from the section. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everything, eggplants and tomatoes and the onions mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. turmeric. And if you see the Madras curry powder, that's the South Indian. Ah, is it, is it spicier than the other type of curry powder or what? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's, it's spicier okay. than the other mm -hmm. types of curry powder. Mm -hmm. So I prefer that. I'm from South India and that's what yes. we use. Yes. But I bring my spices from home, so mine are really authentic <laughs> homemade. Oh, really? Homemade. You can make homemade curry? Yeah. Wow. It's homemade. I've so never I, tried all it. the ingredients I just mixed. The curry powder. Yeah. So you, you know what? My bags are full with. I'm from <laughs> India. All I have is curry powder. All right. Let's add the lima beans. Normally, you would cook it a little bit longer. Yes, just okay. a little bit longer. You can see it's simmering. I can see it's just starting to soften, though. Yes. Mm -hmm. But let's add the lima beans. We'll pretend it's done yes. here. And I just put, you don't have to add all of them. Oh, so you just do part of them? I, I just wanted to see, because this eggplant is a huge one that I got. <laughs> I just said a medium sized eggplant. You can put one cup or more. There's no measurement. There's no specific measurement. Yes. You can you can experiment and yes. put a little bit more. It's not like you have to cook exactly the way Praise I the say. Lord. <laughs> it doesn't have to. If you like a little bit more lima beans, you can throw in a little bit more. 
I like so that. it doesn't matter you can just let it and we're just going to let that cook just for a couple of minutes now the only reason uh, I don't put tomatoes right away is because it'll take just a little time for the lima beans to cook and that's a yes. sour taste to it it has yes. sour taste and it may not let it cook fast and so mm. that's why you need to just let the eggplant and the lima beans just cook, cook together yes for a little bit like five ten minutes and then you add the tomatoes yes. and the whole thing just comes out really good make sure there's enough salt and if yes. you like it a little bit more spicy just add a little bit more, cur more yeah the curry powder the madras curry powder yes <laughs> and if you don't like it spicy you can cut it down and right. just put half a teaspoon mm -hmm. or just a little bit and if you like yeah. it more spicy add a little bit more just experiment and see like what that suits your taste and do it accordingly. I like that because it takes the, the pressure out of the cooking yes. and you're not feeling stressed like I have got to cook it a certain way mm -hmm. I have to follow this rigid recipe see what you, what you like and I love that because at, at home you each have different tastes and to use the different ones I like that say I like a little bit of this or not as much of that so that's good I like yes. that Padma. While do you, you now we'll, we can, we okay. can add the while you tomatoes. add the tomatoes I'm going to eat. <laughs> I you have can to add try the this. tomatoes. Okay. And just let it all cook together. Mmm. 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 And that's how it looks. Mm. Do you see the lima beans? It's beef? delicious. Oh, it's delicious. Again, with all the dishes I've tried, it's the spices that make it. You know? I can taste the curry and the just the little curry powder. Yeah, and the leaves and oh yeah, it's delicious. And the cilantro. Oh yeah. You can just add the cilantro like as this is cooking when it's finishing. Always, it's nice to add the cilantro, just before you're done. Yes. Just a few minutes, just two to three minutes before. It'll nice aroma to it. Oh so yeah. It's, it's very good. It's delicious. We're going to read the next recipe. You want to read that for us? Yes. For the spinach saute. Spinach saute. You will need two packs of fresh or frozen spinach, rinsed and chopped, one small onion chopped, one to two green chilies chopped, one or two red chilies halved, and one to two tablespoons of oil, half a teaspoon mustard seeds, half a teaspoon cumin seeds, two teaspoons urad dal, two to three garlic cloves chopped, four to five curry leaves. You know, Padma, this reminds me slightly of the first recipe we made, the chana with the chickpeas. It had the mustard, right? The mustard yes. seeds and the curry seeds. But we didn't use onions in there. Yes. So there are certain ones that we do use, but mustard and cumin and urad kind of goes with everything. Okay. And this is like a stir fry. So we'll first, I have the oil ready here. All right. We're gonna put That'll start popping. Yeah. It's already. Seeds. Yes. It's good and hot. <laughs> so I'm going to put in, because they're already popping, so I'm going to put the onions. And the green chili. Good. The garlic. And we're using the garlic pieces again instead garlic of the Garlic pieces. Garlic paste. And, uh, yes, garlic is excellent. You know, garlic is really good for lowering cholesterol and triglycerides. Oh, yes. very good. It's very good. It has excellent cardiovascular benefits. Mm -hmm. That is good. And, and we're using our curry leaves again. I love those curry leaves. Yes. I and this is the urad dal. You just yes. got to put urad dal. All right. Just all the ingredients we add. Together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now this is ready. We're just going to put the spinach. Perfect. Do you want me to hold it for you? Please. Can that help? There you go. Mm. So we don't have to put the lid on and cook it before we add the spinach here. Yes, yes, we do because we just want to do it faster and just. Okay, so normally at home for our yes, friends, you yes. would put the lid on and put cook it. Put the lid it. on and cook it. And then. Now this will all wilt down to just a small amount. <laughs> this is two pats of spinach. And I'll just close this up. And you know, spinach is an excellent source of iron. Yes. Just like the green leafy vegetables, mm -hmm. the spinach is a very good source of iron mm. and antioxidants in it. Yes. So this is, I like to use fresh. You can also use frozen if you don't have time to sit and chop all your spinach. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I, I really like enjoy eating fresh. Oh, so yeah. in India, we, we don't use frozen much. Everything is fresh. Fresh. Every day you go to the market, you get fresh vegetables. Yes. You don't have, nobody stores in the refrigerators. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. So you have to eat fresh then. Yes. Right. Every day you go shop and you buy your vegetable for that particular day. Yes. And so everything is fresh and you eat. So um, this is fresh. You can also, as I said, frozen is fine. Right. It, it'll taste, but use the chopped. Right. Chopped spinach. And if you have your garden at home, just get out there and, you know, work with your kids and grow the spinach because spinach is yummy, just fresh from the garden. Yes. And wash it and chop it. And, and, and the sauteed onions. Oh, yeah. And the garlic mm -hmm. just will enhance the taste of the spinach. Mm -hmm. Just when you put, you put all these little ingredients oh, yeah. in it, just That's spices right. a little here and there. <laughs> It's wilted down. You can see it's really... Yes, and you just put a little salt. So we don't wait and add the salt at the end? You can put it in time, but okay. because the because if you the leaves are all over the place, so I like <laughs> to just wait till it wilts a little this bit. This is true. Very. Um, how long would you normally cook it at home? We won't cook it all the way now, but no, how long would you we, normally cook I, it? And it's not, it's not good to overcook. You know, spinach is really, it cooks very fast. It does. Two to three minutes. Okay. It doesn't take very long and to cook, done. so it depends. You, you just saute it. Perfect. Two and we taste. have one that's all done over here we want to show you. That looks good, Fadi. Yes. I like it. I like anything with vegetables, and you know I have to try. Let me try. It looks really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Just don't eat that red pepper. <laughs> I didn't, I assure you, because that would be way too hot for me. I got mm, the nice bite of the... the um, Cumin. We put cumin seeds in there? Yes. That's what I got. That was good. There's cumin and mustard mm -hmm. and little red dal mm -hmm. and just red chili. Oh, that's delicious. Let's read our next recipe. For the sauteed spicy asparagus, you need two pounds of fresh asparagus rinsed and chopped, one to two red chilies halved, one to two tablespoons oil, one half teaspoon mustard seeds, one half teaspoon cumin seeds, Two teaspoons of red dal. Correct. Oh, praise the Lord. Four to five curry leaves. Well, this is a lot of the same ingredients as we can see, but we're using it as another side dish with yes. your rice and your curry. Yes. Very good. Just to, just to enhance the taste, that's all. Yes. For the asparagus here, you just take and break it in half and chop it in just like one inch pieces. Okay. That's all we have over there. And you can see they're really little. They are chopped real small. I can see that. Yes. And now we'll go. You have the oil already oil going is ready, for us. yes. So we'll put the mustard. And it's the same as you can see. Cumin. I do see that. Yeah. It is the same. And the urad dal. Urad dal. Yes. I'm getting better. <laughs> You're getting really good at it. We have the red chilies. Yep. Curry leaves. Curry leaves. All right. This is good because it's a lot of the same ingredients. I can see that. Yes. And this very fast it just cooks oh, yeah. the asparagus doesn't need to cook very long mm -hmm. just for a couple of minutes mm -hmm. just saute it and it's and it's done and we're not putting onions in this one like we did no. in the last one okay it's just a very this in itself has a very good flavor oh yeah it. yeah asparagus is very good Here they said it's that. the vegetable of kings yeah asparagus and just a little salt yeah very good. And you don't need to cover this with a lid. Oh. Because it no. just cooks so fast. Okay. And we don't want to overcook it. <laughs> no. You get all wilted and. Yes. That's you don't right. want to overcook it. Just to two to three minutes, just stir it. It's all done. Praise the Lord. That's easy. Yes. I like that. And we've got to make sure we save time to show you how to make our dessert. But first, you know, I have to try it and make sure that you can enjoy it at home, too. <laughs> I have to be the guinea pig, right? Oh. But this is fun today because the food is delicious. <laughs> Something different. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The asparagus like pops in your mouth. Yeah. It's perfect because it's not, it's just slightly crisp tender, yes. as they say. Oh, it's delicious. And you can taste those seasonings again. It's really good, Padma. Yeah. I'm mm. glad you like it. Praise the Lord. Mm. We're going to have a feast when this program's done. Let's read our last recipe for that dessert. Would you like to read that for us? Absolutely. It's called Ravva Kesari, made with cream of wheat, one cup of suji or cream of wheat, one and a quarter cup of sugar, two 
and a half cups of water, 10 to 15 roasted cashews, half a teaspoon cardamom powder, quarter cup shortening, three to four drops of yellow food coloring, one tablespoon of oil. Well, every single meal has to end with a good dessert, doesn't it, Pat? Correct. You're right, absolutely. And we have an authentic Indian dessert we're going to make. Traditional. Traditional. Yes. Indian dessert. You're going to make it with cream of wheat, but originally it's done with suji. And what is suji? Suji is just a different type of okay. flour that we use ingredients to make this particular dessert. Mm -hmm. But we're doing it with cream of wheat. Okay. I have oil ready here. I'm going to just put it in here. All right. And we're going to stir that. Mm -hmm. We have the water ready here and boiling. Okay. So this would give it a different taste. Is that what you're doing with the cream of wheat there with the oil? Yes. Whenever you fry things in just a little bit of oil, it just enhances the taste. It sure does. Yes. That's so we're just going to stir just for about two, three minutes, and you can see it very light, light, light brown color. You can, can. see the smell coming. Mm -hmm. And now for this, we will just add the sugar. Make sure. All of it? Yes. Okay. I gave the exact recipe over there. Okay, yes. And you can always call us at 3ABN and we'll send out the recipe as well. Yes. So. Make sure this is dissolved. Okay. So you want to wait until it dissolves. It dissolves, mm -hmm. yes. Good. And at this time, you can also add the food coloring. I just chose to use two to three drops of yellow ah, food coloring. You can yes. also use whatever color you desire. Okay. Very nice. So you would, what color, they normally use yellow in yeah, the Indian any, Anything, yellow, dish. there's okay. red, green. Okay. Okay, you use different ones. Yes. Very nice. And now we just. So normally at home you would do that yes, a little bit longer. A little bit longer because okay. we want the color. If we can put this to a low flame. Sure, I'll turn it down. And then let's dump this one in here. Yes. Very gently we have to do it. Uh, because we don't want it to lump. <laughs> this is important. Yes, so just That's little right. at a time. I keep stirring and I, I keep adding that. and I keep stirring and adding because I don't want it to turn lumpy. Okay. Very fascinating. I have never made this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever eaten this either. So. And now this is the cardamom. It just gives oh, a very yeah. nice flavor. And this is our shortening. Okay, that we've um, Sorry, heated up. Yes. Yeah. And you just keep stirring. Make sure there are no lumps. <laughs> yes. That would not be very good. And normally we would stir, as we stir it here, we'll just talk about this. Normally you would stir it for, how long would you cook it over low heat? Okay, you just have to make sure that it's, see, when I do this, it's dripping. I see that. And make sure it's nice and hard, it doesn't drip anymore. When you take ah. it like on a spoon like that, it just sticks to the spoon. Okay. And that's the consistency that we want. Yeah. So you just have to make sure, you just have to keep stirring it on low <laughs> flame. It'll take you a little bit. Right. It'll take you a little while to do that. And then you pour all these contents. This is already I see that greased. You, so you we sprayed just, it. Yes, we sprayed it. So we just put it in here. And then, and then, then take a spatula it. and make sure it's nicely smooth okay. on the top. Mm -hmm. And then you cut it with a knife, but you need to oil the knife a little because then it'll stick. Yes. So we don't want that to happen. Yes. Okay. Do you see this nice? I do. Beautiful it's starting to simmer. Yeah. Sometimes I make polenta with corn grits, you know, a little bit sweet. So it reminds me just a little bit of that. But yeah, this is nice. And then so you would cut it and we can see here we have a final product. Whatever size you want it, desired sizes and shapes, you can cut it and just garnish with the Roasted cashews. Correct. Right. I see that. Now, do you roast your own cashews? I got this from the store. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was <laughs> but, thinking, but wait, we do all the fresh. We do, we do, we do. I do okay. have fresh cashews that I bring from India. Okay. And I roast That's those. That's nice. Yes. That's very nice. I have to try a piece as you're stirring there. It's getting thicker. I can see that. Do you see that? Mm hmm. It is getting but thicker. still, it's still, it's still dripping. See, it's, so it's mm -hmm. not the correct consistency. Mm -hmm. You just make sure when mm -hmm. you do that, it'll just kind of stick and it will not fall on. This is delicious. You like the taste? Oh yeah, the cardamom really makes it. And I have to have another bite. Sure, mm -hmm. go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is really good. Mm hmm. But this you have to keep stirring. 
<laughs> you have to keep stirring. Because it would. When you, yes, or else it'll just burn at the bottom. You just have to keep on stirring it. I can see the consistency is changing. Changing, yes. It'll, I can it'll see just that. get harder and harder. Yes. Wow. And it, that is neat. I've learned a lot of good stuff today. <laughs> about Indian cooking and we hope that you've learned as much as we did here in the kitchen. I know Padma's an expert but I've learned a lot of stuff and it's been really good Padma. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed teaching you. Oh yes, praise the Lord. Yeah, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And you're a nurse. We forgot to mention that at the beginning. Yes, but I'm, a, I'm a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. I'm working part-time yeah. <laughs> so I can do all these fun things. <laughs> that's right, that's good care for your family and share those cooking classes, cooking at, class, yes. at your church you did. Yes, I did. Amen. And right. a lot of people asked me to come and do some more classes, even in the community. Yes, so. praise the Lord. That's good. Well, we've had such a good time here in the kitchen. And like I said, you can always contact us and we'll give you the recipes. But if you would like to contact Padma for yourself, maybe you have some questions and you would like some more information about this Indian cooking, and she has all kinds of tips she can share with you. Here is the information you will need to do that. If you would like to contact Padma Jha, then you can write to Padma Jha Madidi, Post Office Box 48763, Tampa, Florida, 33646-8763. That's Padma Jamadidi, Post Office Box 48763, Tampa, Florida, 33646-8763. You can call 813-325-5783. That's 813-325-5783. You can also visit her website at sweetsoothingmusic.com. It's all one word, sweetsoothingmusic.com. Call or write to her today. She'd love to hear from you. Hello, I'm Molly Steenson, and we here at 3ABN are thrilled to use the latest technology to reach our ever-increasing world audience. I remember when 3ABN first began broadcasting on satellite television in 1986. We were thrilled then as well to reach thousands of home satellite dish owners across the United States. And before the first program was over, the calls began coming in. It was also exciting to see the Lord opening doors for new television downlink stations that greatly increased our viewership. Then came the wonderful day when we began broadcasting across the ocean to audiences in Europe, South America, and finally to the whole world. And as God made this possible, we added a new radio network and more television channels to our ministry. Today, in addition to making 3ABN, 3ABN Latino, 3ABN Proclaim, and 3ABN Radio available on satellite, you can watch all six of our television channels and listen to 3ABN Radio over the internet. To watch, just visit 3ABN.org and click the Watch Now button to select a television channel. In addition to our English broadcast, you can watch Spanish and Portuguese language programs on 3ABN Latino. For those who enjoy preaching and teaching, we have 3ABN's Proclaim Channel, offering 24-hour Christ-centered programming. Children will love watching the Sunbeam Channel with programs like Kids Time, Janice's Addict, and Grandma's House. And our brand new Dare to Dream Urban Channel offers practical Christ-centered programs emphasizing a healthy lifestyle, drug addiction recovery, marriage enrichment, and much more. And last but not least, millions who speak Russian can now enjoy our 3ABN Russian Channel programs developed and produced by our talented studio workers in Nizhny Novgorod, Russia. Our 3ABN radio network is available from our website as well at 3abnradio.org. Check out all the ways to listen on your computer or listen to us anywhere on your smartphone through our MP3 and 3G mobile phone streams. If you're one of the many precious people who have blessed us with your faithful prayers and financial support, I say thank you. And if you haven't, won't you ask the Lord what He would have you do to support 3ABN's ministry? And if the Holy Spirit impresses you, please send your tax-deductible gifts to 3ABN, Post Office Box 220, West Frankfort, Illinois, 62896. And thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all that you do to further the cause of Christ.
Welcome back, friends. We're here with our delicious spread of authentic Indian cuisine, thanks to Padma. You're welcome. <laughs> it's wonderful, and the food tastes good, I can assure you of that. Let's take a look at what we made today. We started with the chana, is that Chana, it? chickpeas. Yes. Okay. It was delicious. Well, that's just a snack that we can have. Is it a snack? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the rice. Rice, rice and lentils. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is great. It just goes in with our with our curry. Next dish, which is eggplant and lima, and lima bean. bean. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get the lima bean. Yes, the protein. Remember? That's right. That was delicious. And then we have our sautéed spinach. Sautéed spinach. Mm -hmm. And the asparagus, the side dishes. Yes. When you eat the rice, you just put the eggplant curry on top. Okay. So you, eat, you always eat them together. And together. then we always have our side dishes and we end with the dessert. What was the dessert called? It's called Rava Kesari. Rava Kesari? Kesari, correct. Rava Kesari. But we can call it cream of wheat Indian dessert. <laughs> now that I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy. That's right, and Padma already fixed me a plate, so I am all set. So you would mix then, you have the rice here yes. and the curry, and you would mix them together. Together, and you just eat it together with the gravy, like it just that. mixes well with the rice. Oh, yeah, yes, that's and delicious. It tastes so much better. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You just mix it together and eat. Yes. Amen. <laughs> I'm ready. Thank you for coming and for sharing your talents with our friends at home. Surely. I'm just so happy to share. And you just contact me anytime, I'll be here for 3 ABM. Amen. That's wonderful. Well, we've had a wonderful time, and we hope you had as much fun as we did getting here in the kitchen and learning all this food. We want you to take these recipes to your home, to your hearts. Share them with your friends and with your family. And we will see you next time. God bless you.